Hi, it's Joe from EatThePlanet.org. Today I'm going to show you guys this plant. This plant is one of the most commonly uh, posted plants on plant identification forums. People wanting to know what it is. Um, mainly because it's got uh, such noticeable berries. The berries look like this. Now that's a fully ripe berry cluster. Um, on a shrub, you're normally going to see all the different stages of these berries. These are half ripe. These are not ripe yet. The name of this plant is pokeweed. Now this plant is toxic, but it's also edible when prepared correctly. And I'm going to go into that later. But right now I'm going to go into the identification of the plant. First of all, notice the shape. It almost always has this shape where the stems come up and then it arches and leans. Uh, it either comes up and canopies over or it leans in one direction based on trying to access sun. So there's a few ID features for this plant. The first one is the berries, uh, which look like this, but they can also be any stage of development. For example, there's a few ripe berries here, but they're not all ripe. Um, this one's still flowering. Berries haven't even come out. And this all happens in August and September. So it flowers uh, later in the year and the berries come out later in the year. Again, not all at once. They'll be at different stages. Um, and the berries always hang down. So that's a good identification feature. The leaf shape is not necessarily unique, um, but you can use it to confirm your identification, although the berries are pretty good identification. Um, the stems can be green or red. They get red, red to purple as they mature. So here's an example of a red stem. Another important identification feature is that this plant has a soft herbaceous stem through its whole growing season. Uh, when it dries out in the winter, it dies and dries out. Then it will dry into something similar to a woody stem. So even though this is a relatively large uh, specimen right here, this is still not a woody stem. This is a herbaceous stem. So the way this plant can be prepared for eating is first of all, a mature um, individual plant like this uh, should not be eaten. The short stems, when they're about that tall in the spring, um, can be prepared. Those are still poisonous, but the way to prepare them is to boil them in three changes of water and rinse them in between. Uh, this is common in southern Appalachia. Most other places it's not common because there's so much effort put into it and there's other edibles for people. But um, if, the, if there's a lot of this coming up, once it's prepared, it seems to be either no or low toxicity. So it, it is a good wild edible in that circumstance if you're looking for a lot of calories and nutrition. Once the toxins are uh, basically leached out, it, it actually is a nutritious plant that tastes good, kind of like spinach. Uh, it's called poke salad once it's prepared. So what probably happened in that area of the country before modern refrigeration and food preparation was that this plant was abundant and then two things could have occurred. Um, Native Americans were using this plant medicinally and likely as a wild edible. And also, people probably did experiment with this plant, uh, boiled and not boiled, and noticed that when it was boiled, they were less likely to get sick. Um, and then they probably boiled it a few times and realized that they didn't get sick at all. Um, if you eat it without being boiled, people have died. So um, it definitely is a serious toxin. Most people just get sick, but it is possible that if you eat too much of the wrong part of the plant, that you could die. For example, um, the most highest concentration of toxins are in the roots of the plant. Um, and then the next highest concentration is in the leaves and stems. Um, and then the next is in the berries. So if somebody, for example, ate the roots, um, that could have led to serious poisoning or death. So hopefully you learned a lot about this interesting plant, and next time you see it, you'll be able to identify it. Uh, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, and if you do, make sure you click the little alarm button next to it so you get updates on my videos, and post any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching.